Hey guys, it's Glaze Donut. I mean, <laughs> Nia Imani here back with another video. And girl, it has been a long day. And it's time to remove this makeup up off my face and give you all what you have been asking for, which is my highly requested skincare routine. So yeah, put that post to the pack, girl. Yeah. So Alrighty, so today I'm going to be using um, Pixie's Double Cleanse. It's a cleansing oil at one side and, and the other oil, the other side is like a cleanser for you to wash your face. So this part in um, my skincare routine is imperative. I am not necessarily a heavy makeup wearer. However, I do tend to wear makeup, which can cause my pores to be filled with that gunk basically or just the makeup in general so um opposed from me using well aside from me using the pixie oil sometimes i use coconut oil to remove makeup off my face which is ba basically very very a lightweight oil that really removes the makeup off of the face and it just allows you a lot of wiggle room so you want to make sure that you do this step instead of just um taking a spin brush and removing your makeup because this really allows you to work that product off your face and it's basically a pre-cleanse or a pre yeah basically a pre-cleanse that'll really get uh, the 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 bulk of your um your dirt and gunk off of your face so after the massaging that into my face i am going to just rinse that off with some warm water Alrighty, so today I'm taking my Pure Lease Cleansing Milk and then I'm using my Clarisonic Mia 2. And the Clarisonic is not an exfoliator. It is a basically a massaging brush that really works off the um, dead cells, sebum, and just any extra pollution or gunk that might be like deep in your face and deep in your pores by gently massaging that and removing that. Um, it's not an exfoliator and when you do use this type of brush, you wanna make sure that you're not using anything with um, those little micro beads in it so I really like the Clarisonic um I used to use the Olay which is basically a dupe for this or you can also use the Vanity Planet um spin brush and I'll also leave those um dupes in the description box and I'll leave the Vanity Planet with a description I'm not a description but a coupon code but basically I purchased this because it really deeply cleanses and massages the skin and what I also really, really liked about the Clarisonic is that it tells you basically how long you should spend on each section and then it beeps so that you can move on. So I have been using this for about a month now and I am really fucking with it. And I'm just showing you guys my, you know, brush head because if I would have used this while all that makeup was on, it just, that would have been looking crazy. So this is my face and I'm just going to pat it, not dry. I'm going to leave a little bit of the um, water, kind of keep my face damp. And I'm just showing you all my dark marks. So I have been able to fade a lot, a lot, a lot a lot of my dark marks within the past year however i'm experiencing some more so i'm going back to my old dandy so this is apple cider vinegar with my organic um so some people really have to dilute this when they're using it as a toner however i just use a little bit of water on that cotton ball and i am going to place some some apple cider vinegar on it and girl it's going to cleanse up my well clear up my acne marks that's what has worked for me personally and now i'm going to be using some rosehip oil i don't use a regular lotion or um coconut oil well i don't use a regular lotion because they are typically filled with just not good things for my skin and i don't use coconut oil anymore on my skin because it's comodogenic which basically means that it can clog the pores so I've been using rosehip oil now for a while and I literally love it because it's just filled with so many th great things and it's not greasy. So some of the benefits of rosehip oil is that it's filled with fatty acids and vitamin A and C which combat signs um, of aging and wrinkles and it hydrates the skin. It's filled with antioxidants. It's very moisturizing. It brightens the skin, evens out tone, firm skins and helps to fade scars. So as you can see that my skin is it's, it's plump. It looks very very you know tight so yeah that's what that rosehip oil is doing and you see it's not like leaving a very oily or like super just shiny unnecessary like cast so now I'm taking rose water and this is basically just my finisher Alrighty, so rose water is an anti-inflammatory and it reduces redness of irritated skin and helps get rid of acne scarring and maintains the skin pH it hydrates skin and it tones skin so it is the next day and I like to wash my face again. So this part does not have to be extremely like exfoliating unless you feel that your skin is dry or patchy or anything. So now I'm just using the Boshia, girl I can't pronounce this, the Lady at Sephora sold it to me. Or I use the Derma E um, Purifying Detox. But today I just use the Boshia Charcoal Mask because charcoal really helps to 
cleanse your skin and peel out, peel out any of those impurities. And you want to make sure that you do wash your face in the morning because, girl, your bed, you never know what happens at night. It might get a little, a little rough and a little dirty. So now, um, to tone my face, I don't in the morning. I don't use my apple cider vinegar because that can be a bit harsh. So I just go to my Pixi Glow Tonic. I have the one that's already in the to-go pads or I have the one in the bottle. Then I just spritz some rose water on my face. Sometimes this little, these steps are, can be backwards. And then I just seal in all of my moisture with some rose hip oil. So that's my pretty basic skincare routine. I hope you all um, enjoyed this video. I hope I was uh, you know, detailed enough for you all. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If anything does change, I will make an updated routine. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you all in the next one.